those mortar men leveled up all right uh, level 160 ain't too bad it wasn't a max out base so it doesn't really matter the level uh, I had somebody uh, talking to me yesterday and today about the fairness of the game uh, the battle will being able to hit people uh, challenging and all that in real war strategy if you're always going for the front line of the troops, eventually hitting their defensive spots, you're going to run low on infantry, on men, on souls. There's only so many people born in the world at a time. Now, there is a challenge aspect to it, and they were brought up the uh, fact that they like to have that challenge and be able to attack other higher level players and stuff, and, you know, vice versa. But that's not how the game's set up. In real war, like I told the individual, uh, sometimes when you go into the battlefield, you're going to run across barns with a guy with a shotgun. You got 10,000 infantry and 400 tanks right behind you, and you take the farm. 
you know it's the same thing in this game you know you're gonna run across these low uh, levels low bases and stuff like that and if you can hit them hit them because uh, tags are like resources you know it's like holding territory the more tags you hold the more terri you know the more territory you hold so let's look at the facts on it so if you sit here and you take uh, you're just going straight for the fortress and you're skipping all these farms and towns that's where you got rebellions in when it comes to real life that's where you're gonna have uh, people coming out and sniping your troops and all that and because you need to take those key positions you have to take every position you can get your hand on as far as the battle will yesterday I loved it you know the fact that I could get uh, these low levels but as you see, everything on my wheel is pretty much uh, 90s and 100s now. So here's 188 and here's 83, but both these players are pretty much maxed out. Now, it's costly to hit these low-level bases. You know, we don't get resources from them when we do hit low-level bases. The higher your tags are, the less likely on this battle wheel you're going to find opponents that are going to uh, give you any kind of profit whatsoever. Low-level bases, uh, they just suck to hit to begin with. But you need those tags. And like I said, tags are like territory. It's like owning uh, your power level. All right. So the more tags you got, the higher power level you got, the more out of reach you are of certain players, and the more within reach you get to other players. So the more tags you have, the better off you are. So if you're going to a battle and you're going to be fighting, okay, let's say I'm going to be fighting, uh, you know, let's pretend like this is real life. And I got a campaign. I hit an island, right, a huge island. And uh, one of the main commanders of that island is one of the English Lionhearts alright now before I can hit the main structure which is based on a hill or something I gotta go through two towns and three big farms you think I'm gonna keep, skip those three big farms and those two towns no nah, I'm gonna take both of them there's not gonna be any problem for my troops no resistance they go in might be a sheriff with a shotgun or a farmer with a rifle but I'm gonna take those territories before I hit that hill and that's the way it is in this game. A lot of times you got to take all them small ones to get the tags up so you can hit the big ones. So I'm sorry the person felt offended by it, but you know that's just the way it is in war, man. Uh, real life and in this game, you know, uh, making it into a challenge. And you know, I let me let me step back here. I'm talking about it as a game and as a war, which is two totally separate concepts. All right, a game is something you do for entertainment or challenge. Uh, how you proceed to win that game is up to you. It's like a lot of y'all know on Destiny, there's a lot of farming. Now, I could skip that farming and just go to the uh, other events and uh, do strikes and stuff like that and do the farming that way, but I'll never get what I need. You have to do the farming. So in this game, you have to do a lot of farming. You have to farm those tags within uh, to get you within the range of your targets. So if you feel like that's... Uh, not that you know your play style to do that uh you're really not fulfilling the whole portion of this game you should be doing and that's get the tags get within the ranks to uh not only better your alliance but better yourself you know uh when it comes to like uh that's why you look at the uh english lion hearts they're sitting on top you know we just saw them two hours pull three thousand tags I have no idea how they did it but we had it recorded and uh they pulled three thousand tags in two hours is it possible? Oh yeah, it's freaking possible if you have a lot of members battling, but we were kind of shocked to see it. But I think it just had to do with a recruitment that they pulled another player, so uh, you know, the information probably isn't that reliable. I did see that Stone Vengeance did pull another player, and man, did they close that gap. So they're really working hard on pulling these high-ranked players, which I have respect for. But you know, now we're all sitting at 40. You can see the real tag range. We're still trying to close in on the English Lion Hearts. We're hoping they go asleep for a little while so we can at least get into war range so we can have a true battle. But we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Stone Vengeance is, as I said, one of the best opponents we ever had. We're hoping, and I'm pretty sure that we're going to hit 200k before they do. That's pr It's pretty much a race to that. That's the whole war right there. It's just who's going to get to 200k first. And they're closing in so fast, and we get those gaps, and they close in and get the gap. This morning we had almost a 10,000 tag lead. They pulled another player, probably a six, 7,000 tag player, and boom, right there. You know, they closed the gap just that quick. So, I mean, this is an awesome war. It's an awesome battle. Man, my men have been fighting their asses off even those who are really hooked in other games are coming back to this game just go ahead and pull them tags 
it's summertime. We're supposed to be out having fun. Now, I don't expect uh, my team to be pulling tags 24 hours a day, you know, but the fact that they're doing that is freaking awesome, man. It's, it's really cool and stuff. But at the same time, man, war or not, this is just a game. You know, if you can get out there with your kids, get out there with the kids. I'd rather see y'all out there with your kids and out there in the sun than uh, helping us with this war. But, you know, if you can put, find the time put in to help with this battle, that's awesome, man. Um, that music video with the uh, battle and everything, I had one of the subscribers seem like they were a little down that I wasn't doing that no more. So I went ahead and uh, popped that out. I thought they would enjoy that. So uh, I appreciate the comment on that. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, that was just my thoughts on tags and tacking low levels and stuff like that. The battle wheel, pretty much, I think it's uh, it just glitches out. And once you get into tag range like 5,000 up, that's pretty much a lot of times that's all you're going to have on your battle wheel. And the fact is, the strongest player in the game cannot fight the strongest uh, players above him because he is the strongest players in the game. So eventually it's going to come point... No matter how you feel, you will have to attack players that are lower than you. So, this is Conchant Kaido with the Suicide Donkeys, man. I appreciate y'all paying attention to what I have to say. And I'm sorry for babbling, but <laughs> I'm going to get out of here and let your ears have some rest. So, keep tagging and stagging, I guess as uh, Stone Vengeance would say. And I'll see y'all in the next video.